We're going to look at what happens when you have 0.6 kilograms of ice at 0 degrees Celsius and 0.2 kilograms of steam at 100 degrees Celsius. So a few numbers that are going to be useful. One is the latent heat of fusion for water is about 334 kilojoules per kilogram. That's about 3.34 times 10 to the fifth joules per kilogram. The latent heat of fusion is where ice turns into liquid water. The latent heat of vaporization for water, so when water goes from liquid to steam, is 22.6 times 10 to the fifth joules per kilogram. And also, the specific heat of water, 4,186 joules per kilogram multiplied by degrees Celsius. These numbers of energy per unit mass are the amount of energy that it takes to go from one state to the other. So you could go, for example, from ice to liquid or from liquid to ice, and you'd use the same number. The transition would either take the energy or release the energy. Let's start with the 0.2 kilograms of steam at 100 degrees Celsius. I'm going to say that it's going to all turn into liquid water. And in the state transition, it's not going to change temperature, it's just going to change state. We're going to use the latent heat of vaporization in this calculation. As the water steam turns into liquid, it's going to release the energy from the calculation. Here's the calculation for the steam turning into liquid. We're going to multiply the mass, which is 0.2 kilograms, by 2.26 times 10 to the sixth, which I put in scientific notation, with the units of joules per kilogram. The units of kilograms are going to cancel out, and we're going to be left with joules. We're going to get an energy release of 4.52 times 10 to the fifth joules. Now we go to the 0.6 kilograms of ice that's at zero degrees Celsius. Since it's at zero degrees, which is the threshold, it's going to start turning into liquid water as soon as it has more energy. So we're going to multiply the 0.6 kilograms by 334 kilojoules per kilogram. That means that it takes 2.004 times 10 to the fifth joules to make the melting of the ice happen. At this point, we say that all of the 0.2 kilograms of steam has turned into liquid water, and it's at 100 degrees Celsius and also that the 0.6 kilograms of ice that was at zero degrees Celsius has turned into liquid water at zero degrees Celsius. The amount of energy that was released from the steam turning into liquid water is quite a bit more than the energy that it took to melt the ice. So we have excess energy still. At this point, we no longer have steam or ice. We only have two portions of liquid water but the two portions are at different temperature, so they're gonna reach equilibrium when they're in contact. Let's say that all the excess heat that came from the steam turning into liquid water combines with the colder water. So we're gonna take the mass of the colder water, which is, starts at zero degrees Celsius, the 0.6 kilograms, we're gonna multiply that by the specific heat of water, which is 4,186 joules per kilogram times degrees Celsius. And we're gonna multiply that by what we're gonna say is a change in temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. That would take 2.5116 times 10 to the fifth joules of energy. Even though it took that much energy, we still have a little bit of energy left. We have turned the 0.6 kilograms of ice into water that is now 100 degrees Celsius, and we say that the 0.2 kilograms that was steam is now liquid water at 100 degrees Celsius. We still have 440 joules left though, which isn't really a lot of energy, at least compared to the amounts of energy we've seen in this problem so far. Now we have 0.8 kilograms of water that's liquid at 100 degrees Celsius. If it's at 100 degrees Celsius, if it gains more energy, that's going to turn into steam. So we take the amount of energy we have in joules, we divide it by the latent heat of vaporization, and we're going to end up with the mass of water that turns into steam. That steam is going to be at 100 degrees Celsius, though,
because it doesn't change temperature, it only changes state when it goes from water at 100 degrees Celsius to steam at 100 degrees Celsius. So out of the 0.8 kilograms of liquid water at 100 degrees Celsius, 19 grams of it turns into steam that is also at 100 degrees Celsius. So most of the water is liquid, only 19 grams of it is steam, but it's all at 100 degrees Celsius.